What's up, you guys? This is Mary with um, HPL High Frequency Intuition. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. 7.31 a.m. Monday, 10 to 23. Hope everybody's doing fantastical. I do, I do, I do. Um, I just recently got up. I got some downloads and then... I'm going to offload them, so I'm going to work, just saying. Okay, so the first one I heard, um, uh, anything you can, uh, anything you say can or will be held against you in the court of law. I heard for one of you guys, um, this is about to benefit you in a huge-ass way, because I heard you're a huge-ass victim. Um, I heard of abuse, exploitation, and illegal business of the past. And for one... <laughs> <clears throat> I heard it'd be smart to use your rights just now. So y'all plug it in how it resonates. So um, anything you say can or will be held against you in the court of law. So basically part of the Miranda rights, um, to my knowledge, that's part of the Miranda rights. You can look them up um, or not. But um, anyways, for one of you guys, you're, in a, uh, um, you're a victim. Um, an illegal business passed and you were abused and exploited, but it's about to benefit you. Speaking out is what I'm presuming with the anything you say, say can or will be held against you in the court law. But that's a good thing for you because you were a victim of illegal business, abuse, and exploitation. For one of you guys, I think you were the abuser or the uh, the abuser, exploiter, or part of the illegal business. And I would be smart to use those rights. So just saying, just saying, just saying, you have to plug yourself in. Wherever you resonate and however that resonates, okay? Oh. And the other one I got was, um, what was the other one real quick? Um, shoot, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Um. I, okay, so a toxic family, um, they're getting a huge wake-up call now that their lives will never be the same. Um, I heard a toxic family used, I heard they sacrificed and used a femme energy and her kids in the past. Um, uh, sacrificed them through a hidden camera in the past. But they don't. they didn't realize she would never come back, but they should have realized that she would have never came back. I heard that just now. So, of course, why the, why the fuck did they think she'd come back? Oh, yeah. Abuse me more. Exploit me more. Um, sacrifice me more. I heard she's still living. Of course. I mean, but, but there was many death attempts on her life in the past just now. So, there was many death attempts on... Her life in the past just now. Something about a fake birth, uh, fake death certificate. Something about a fake death certificate, too. Y'all play in how it resonates. I got that one just now, too. But but they thought she'd come back. Oh, abuse me harder. Exploit me harder. Who does that shit? Not anybody in their right sane fucking mind. If the toxic family's watching, just saying, just saying, that's weird as fuck. What, you think you're special enough to go around abuse and exploit people and they just come back and be like, oh, yeah, abuse me harder, daddy. Abuse me harder, mommy. Abuse me harder, auntie. No, that's weird. And you need to get out of that weird-ass mindset. It involved illegal uh, voyeur cameras of the past. And you not only did it to her, you did it to her kids, too. And you're members of this toxic fucking family. Um, I heard you guys disguised it in the past you disguised it in the past as something to do with some weird reality show so you plug it in how it resonates but i heard it was it it wasn't so y'all disguised it to other people in the past as some kind of reality tv show but all the while it was actually hidden voyeur cameras in her home uh, abusing and exploiting her and her kids but you thought she you thought she'd come back but I heard your lives will never be the same because she will never come back. And I heard, you know, if you attempt to communicate with her or I heard come over to her home just now, attempt to communicate with her or come over to her home, the law will get involved. I heard police and I heard, I heard more than the police, the police and more than police. And I heard you're right. And I heard she will record every single 
I heard if you attempt to, this sounds like an ultimatum for you talks family, I'm just saying. If you ever attempt to communicate with her down the line, I heard she will screenshot and voice record every single communication. I heard from evermore, just now, forevermore. Um, and if you show up at her home, there will be cameras all over your ass. Just now. So I think this toxic ass family watches my channel. She doesn't trust you. Obviously, she does not trust you, toxic family. She will never communicate with you again. But you, toxic family, though, she'd just come crawling back. Why the fuck did you think that? Like, imagine if it was you being abused, exploited with hidden cameras in your house. And, and she was going around telling people it was a reality TV show. But in reality, it was voyeur cameras implanted in her home or your home. You wouldn't appreciate that. Like, what? I'm just saying. I heard somebody else is getting a huge ass wake up call. This is weird as hell. Um, but I heard she will never communicate with you again. As she shouldn't, in my opinion. Why? I mean, running back to abusers is abuse. If anybody needs to hear that. Why do you think, why do y'all think I don't ever communicate with my toxic family and I never will? Because they are a lot like this toxic family. And that's just the truth. So y'all plug it in how it resonates. I heard somebody, um, I heard somebody and then I heard several people. Several people about to start betraying this toxic family soon through many series of chain of events. Um, so y'all play in help resonate several people. Oh, well, I heard one person that I heard several people. So you have to plug yourself in uh, where you resonate. Only you, I feel for some, you might be the one about to betray this toxic family. For some, you might be part of the toxic family. For some, you might be the femme and her kids that are abused and exploited with a hidden camera up in her house of the past. And all the while, your, your toxic family, and I heard your community too, ma'am, your toxic family and your community. We're saying it was a fucking reality TV show. But it wasn't. <gasps> so, I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. It's crazy as hell. But, um, and they really need to go down. But, um, I heard several people about start portraying talks to family soon. As they freaking should. If it was something, you might be the several people or the person about to portray the talks to family. Um, now, how you're going to betray him, I don't know. If, I don't know if this is an official report. Or call the police, call the feds, um, call the CPS, a combination, a, a call to the news. I don't know how you're going to betray them. I'm not sure. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? I got to hurry up. I got about 20 minutes, and then I got to start making my phone calls. Okay, I got this one. Um, I heard somebody said you were a huge ass partier in the past, um, and I heard you never ha you never have been. I heard you went through a small spell after a divorce, but you never really have been a part a huge partier. Um, I heard the person that lied on you and said you were a huge partier. Um, they really are, and I heard they're about to be exposed in a huge ass way. And you're a femme if that resonates with you. So. Fem, somebody was, um, I heard they were saying you were a huge ass party for strategic, strategic reasons in the past. So they were saying you were a huge ass party, but you never really have been. I just heard you just like to have fun in a safe way. So you like to have fun in a safe way, but th there was some kind of short period in the past where you did go through some kind of partying phase, but it was a short phase. It, it was, you grew out of it. You moved on from it. I heard it was after a divorce. So yeah, I mean, I've been through a divorce too. I get it, ma'am. Um, you know, but it was a short phase. It wasn't something that you stuck, got stuck in. Um, you grew from it and you moved on. And I heard it was a short phase. It's not even like it was a long phase. Um, but, uh, whoever in the hell lied on you basically defamed your character in the past and said you were this huge ass party or they did it for strategic reasons. And it wasn't good strategic reasons. Uh, but it's about to backfire on them because they are actually a huge ass party and I heard they're about to be exposed in a huge ass way to people they don't want to be exposed to. 
So they're actually a huge ass partier, and they're but they were trying to make it out like you're a huge ass partier for strategic reasons to cover their ass, basically to cover up what they really do. But um, they're about to be exposed in a huge ass way. So um, to people they don't want to be exposed to, I heard very high up prestigious people is now to very high up prestigious people. Oh whoa, want to protect their little reputation, huh? Hmm. Oh my. <laughs> Um, I just heard Earth sounds about to get asked out on a date soon. A man and a woman. Two Earth signs. Well, congratulations, Earth signs. You guys are about to get asked out on a date. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You got Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Man or woman. About to get asked out on a date, sir or ma'am. Well, hopefully they're not a psycho. Hopefully they're not the Facebook stalker. Hopefully they're not the party all, you know, hopefully they don't plant, implant hidden cameras in people's homes. And then just to abuse and exploit them and to make money off of them with an illegal business and then play it off to a community and others like it's a reality TV show. I mean, I'm just saying, that's psycho in its finest. So hopefully it's not somebody like that. I'm just saying. You can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or any aspects of your charts. All right, I'm getting out of here. I love you guys so much. Namaste.